just happened? Was I just pushed into the water? Oh no, not water. I'm terrified of water. <sighs> great, just great. I can't swim. <coughs> Why is this happening to me? Of all the days to regret skipping swim lessons, today's the winner. Who even does that? Pushes someone into a river. <sighs> Note to self, avoid mysterious strangers near bodies of water. Lesson painfully learned. <laughs> Great. Now I'm watering the river with my tears. <sighs> Let's rewind my life story. Born into a world where the silverware was actually silver. Figures. I grew up surrounded by manicured lawns and gates that probably cost more than a normal house. Oh, and the Smiths lived next door. Their family and mine, like peas in a very fancy pod. Dad's golf pals and mommy's partners in the bridge club. It was all so idyllic. Little Lucy had no idea what real problems were. If only that lasted. But hey, who needs swimming lessons when you can debate the finer points of horseback riding etiquette, right? Apparently, all that grooming was for naught. I'm about as useful as a chocolate teapot in a situation like this. The Smiths were less like neighbors and more like extra branches on our family tree. They were at every birthday bash and every pretentious tea party you could imagine. Their son, Alex, was practically my shadow. We were two peas in a pod, the mischief-making kind. But then, the clouds rolled in over the Smiths' sunny days. Their luck turned sour, and suddenly, those wide smiles started to falter. It was like watching a ship sink in slow motion. No lifeboats could save the Smiths' sinking business. Despite my dad throwing life preservers in the form of loans and advice, the inevitable happened. The ship hit the ocean floor. Their house, once a second home to me, just gone. And Alex, my partner in crime, was moving to the far side of town. Our daily adventures turned into occasional texts. Miss you, miss you more. The kind of messages that show you care, but can't bridge the distance. But life has a funny way of flipping the script. Who knew that a push into the river would make me miss those days even more? I wonder where Alex is now. Hopefully on dry land and doing better than his favorite childhood troublemaker. If I get out of this, I owe him a visit. A real one. Maybe he'll have a good joke or a lousy pun to cheer me up. Just like old times. Mom. Dad. I miss Alex. Can we go see him? Please? Of course, Pumpkin. Let's plan a visit. We all miss them, sweetheart. So, Alex, tell me everything. How have you been? It's been different, but we're managing. You? And just like that, the room went from Lifetime movie to reality TV. What do you mean we don't want help? We can't accept more. It's too much already. What did we walk into? No clue. It was fine a minute ago. Please just go. We need to handle this on our own. But we're family. Not anymore. It's better this way. Talk about an awkward car ride home. From besties to 
please leave in less than an hour? What happened back there? I wish I knew, Lucy. But what really happened? Why did they ask us to leave? I don't know, sweetheart. Sometimes it's best to respect people's wishes, even if we don't understand them. Alex, are you there? What's going on? I can't talk anymore, Lucy. My parents, they're just not okay with it. But why? What did I do? It's not you, but please, we can't keep doing this. If doors close, windows open. Or, you know, you just go knock on another door. Alex! I had to see you. If my parents did something wrong, I'm sorry. It's not like that, Lucy. It's complicated. Then let's uncomplicate it. You're my best friend. You mean everything to me. Okay, we'll talk. Just let's be careful, all right? We were doing what best friends do. Hanging out, texting, you know, the works. And I always picked up the tab. Perks of the silver spoon. Lucy, I've got to tell you something. I love you. Alex, status, money, it doesn't matter. I like you too. A lot. So, we started dating, and it was magical, like something out of a movie. You know, minus the dramatic background score. What's this, Alex? Oh, it's nothing. Just a girl from school. My heart dropped. But when I looked again, they were gone. And then that text, like a bolt from the blue, your boyfriend is cheating. So I arranged a meeting, just me and him, no prying eyes. I got a message, Alex. Are you, are you seeing someone else? Lucy, you know I wouldn't. And that's how I ended up here, pushed into the cold water, the past and present colliding. Alex, why? I, I don't remember who pushed me. Everything's a blur, but in my head, it's crystal clear. It was Alex, and I just can't bring myself to say it out loud. You're safe now. That's what matters. But if you remember anything, you tell us, okay? Alex did this. He planned it all because he thought... He thought my family was a charade, just like his own had become. He was wrong. So wrong. His family lost everything, and he blames us. Blamed me. Maybe one day he'll see the truth. Until then, I'll keep the secret. For both our sakes. This is my burden to bear my story to tell when I'm ready.